Today it is time to take a look at one of the teams in Spain that just don't get enough love. We are talking about Atletico Madrid. Now, you might be thinking, what are you talking about? They're not getting enough love? Well, as we speak, obviously all the talk is about Real Madrid, Jude Bellingham and how well he's doing, all the talents they have in their squad and the squad that they're building for the upcoming year with Mbappe possibly joining in as well. Real Madrid might dominate the Spanish division for a long time time to come but even more people were talking about Girona in second place yes the surprise team of the season that everyone loves to support at least not like on a fan level but they're kind of sympathizing with them despite them being part of the city group and Atletico Madrid are sat in that fourth position with 52 points and historically speaking the last time they won the title was in 2020 and then they also won it in 2013 but there's a large gap of years with no league titles in that 15 year period that you just saw. So for me, I am looking at this Atletico Madrid team right now. I am seeing potential. Yes, lots of potential because Simeone, the man above me, is building something special. And if he sticks around for a couple more years, trust me, it's not going to be a single horse race in La Liga anymore. So let's see if we can compete with the city rivals of Real Madrid by rebuilding Atletico Madrid, not to only win titles in Spain, but also in Europe. Because the last time they did that, that was in 2018. Let me start off by sharing my thoughts on the current side of Atletico Madrid and what I think of their players. First of all, can we just speak about how incredible Antoine Griezmann is? This man for this French national team, in my opinion, has been one of the most important, if not the most important player in that squad. Yes, Kylian Mbappe is great. Do not get me wrong, but for the French national team, for me personally, Griezmann is the one that deserves all the love. He is the one that does all the work defensively, offensively, creating chances, scoring goals, setting up assists, all those things. He is the man. And at Atletico Madrid, he does exactly the same. The way this guy performs for this team after leaving them for Barcelona and then coming back to redeem himself and showcasing that he made a mistake by leaving Atletico Madrid in the first place, he has been unbelievable. And I think he's here for as long as he can until he moves to the MLS because that is the league he seems to be in love with and he wants to play there. So that's going to be interesting. But Griezmann is ridiculously good and, in my opinion, very underappreciated by many people around the world, especially England. I feel like a lot of people don't respect him enough. Morata, by the way, what a season. What is going on with him? People did not expect this. He has been one of the most key players for Atletico Madrid's success, or at least the games that they have won have been massively impacted by him if it wasn't for Griezmann. So we have Saul, Coque and Lorente. Saul and Koke. This pairing has been here for such a long time. Obviously, Saul left to Chelsea for a while and that didn't work out. Returns to Atletico Madrid and we are clearly seeing there's a theme of players leaving and coming back. Uh, apart from Joao Felix, that situation has not necessarily worked out. But Llorente has also been having a lot of fun lately. In the past couple of games, he actually had to play at striker, which was really odd to see. And on top of it, he was scoring goals. This man is truly one of the most well-rounded players in world football plays as a right back plays as center back right mid striker he can do it all and his stats definitely showcase that and his play styles are ridiculous as well now going into defense this is the department where i feel like atletico madrid is lacking something if we're looking at the defense right now reinildo is a very interesting player this guy has showcased in a couple of matches that they can be quality but he's no youngster. At this stage, you want consistent, amazing performances. And what you're getting, or who you are getting that from, in my opinion, is probably more Samuelino. Now, not as a left wing back, more like a left midfielder. So ideally, in my opinion, I want to go ahead and play a different formation here. I want to play a 3-5-2, which isn't necessarily too far away from what, um, uh, what uh, what's his name, Simeone is doing. But I feel like this is the right way forward. Now, with this formation, obviously, I can put Molina over onto the right-hand side. He's a World Cup winner, only 25 years old. He could easily play in that right midfield position, no issue. But defensively speaking, again, Bitzel, 34 years old. Savage, 32, and always good for yellows and red cards. Hermoso, I'm seeing that Atletico Madrid is trying to extend this contract. 
but there are a lot of talks of him potentially leaving as well so that will be quite interesting and honestly the fact that Oblak has stuck around here for such a long time and hasn't gone to any prem team because he was linked to like Chelsea a million times I feel like it's very impressive that they've been able to hold on to him Korea has been linked to Saudi pretty often I feel like this summer he's definitely going uh, Depay has been quite interesting as well in this team has done quite well in a couple of matches uh, previously Griezmann could actually work really well as a center attacking midfielder here and then we could have Depay up top or we could just run it like that that's fine too Depaul also a huge player for this side I really love it when he is capable and fit of playing for this Atletico Madrid team he's a great player to watch and on top of it talents like Riquelme and most importantly Pablo Barrios have been very imp 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 impressive my god I can't speak you're speaking good English Pablo Barrios this guy has the best rate in terms of like duels won dribbles completed in La Liga yes he is the best dribbler in the league in a league where you have Vinicius Jr and stuff so this is very impressive for a center midfielder this kid has such a bright future ahead of him I am so excited about Barrios and I'm also very excited about Riquelme I have to admit he played at Girona last season if I'm not mistaken it was loaned out and uh, now him and Barrios are two players that Atletico Madrid fans have high hopes in and as we go down the list here they also brought in Artur Femirin yes Artur Femirin an amazing talent from Antwerp if he can find his way into this team to replace someone like Koke down the line that's gonna be quite good you know that guy is a huge talent and we don't end the list there. This Atletico Madrid team genuinely has some incredible players in there that I could talk about for hours. But we want to win big trophies. And to make that happen, in my opinion, this defense needs a complete overhaul. And also, a lot of the older players need to be sorted out so the future of Atletico can be fixed and also be successful. Oh, actually, by the way, this formation fits a lot better because Atletico do tend to play quite a tight midfield. They don't necessarily have a center attack in midfield. They play it a bit flat. You have two center midfielders and one that does a lot of the defending, and that works much better. Coque, Depaul, and Lorente to start things off. But then again, Lorente could easily play as a right midfielder too, which probably makes sense to be honest so i started off with the sales of players korea going to al hilal that's quite fitting we have gone ahead and sold jimenez as well this guy used to be a guy that had like 88 89 potential in fifa back in the day and right now as we speak he's barely been playing for atletico madrid which is interesting and i'm also again because of the back and forth is he going is he staying i don't want that in a team he's leaving as well lemar has been injured for a very long time he has an acl injury so i'm not even going to consider playing him in this team because i do have young midfielders that i want to give play time to down the line we have savage who is leaving 16.8 million this guy is not reliable he's always good for doing something crazy in a game he's gone Vitzel is gone to Real Betis Vitolo has left 1 million and that now leaves us with let me show you 248 million which doesn't mean I'm gonna spend it all but I am gonna spend a little if I had to think of one player who would fit Diego Simeone the best it's the man from Argentina from his own country Cristian Romero he would be the perfect Simeone player. We all know sometimes he likes to go ahead and tackle people in a crazy way, which Atletico Madrid defenders tend to do quite often, but at the same time, he can be world class. So, this is my marquee signing to start things off. Cristian Romero is joining into this Atletico Madrid defense to take the lead in this team. Now, as you could tell, center backs wise, we don't have anyone left. So Romero is the first one to join. Two others will now follow. And as I go ahead and rebuild this team, I want to know from you guys in the comments down below, who was your all-time favorite Atletico Madrid player? You can pick anyone. You don't have to support the team. Just let me know which one was your all-time favorite. For me, it has to be Kun Aguero back in the day. One of the best left-footed center backs in world football, in my opinion. He has to be up there in the top 10 at least. He is Nico Schlotterbeck, the man for Borussia Dortmund. If he can just go ahead and fix a few of his errors in defense, he can be exceptional. This is a big boy player, especially if you want to build out from the back, which not necessarily is a thing that Atletico Madrid is like insane at, don't get me wrong, but he could be the one that plays the first pass to get the team moving forward in a very quick way and utilize some of the players that they have to go ahead and counter attack. 
And Nico Schlotterbeck is the one. Left back, uh, left footed centre back, 82 rated, just one rating behind Romero. You can learn a few things from him in terms of defence and being rough because that's something that he doesn't necessarily do. But he is quite a player with flair in that centre back position and someone that loves to move forward and get goals as well, by the way, and even assists. So, yeah, Schlotterbeck from Dortmund. I feel like this is the perfect choice for this team. Getting yet another player from the Bundesliga, but this time from the strongest team. Bayer Leverkusen has a lot of competition going on in that centre-back position. They do play a three at the back type formation with the likes of Jonathan Ta, Stanisic, Tapsoba, Kosunu, which is this player right here, and many others competing for places. So I want to give this man a guaranteed spot in the team. Kosunu is joining us and Atletico Madrid right now. Another player who can be exceptional in defense, but even more impressive sometimes when he carries the ball forward. And that's going to be something that we have to be very aware of, which I am because I am bringing in Kosunu because I want to build up Femirin as an exceptional CDM. I want him to be the next one after Koke to take over that position and help the defenders and allow them to push forward if necessary. And I will allow that to happen because I will also have a left midfielder and a right midfielder who can also defend. Molina can definitely do that. Lino, at times, has definitely showcased he can do that as well, despite his stats right here. Not necessarily saying that. I've seen him sprint back and help the defense multiple times. So I'm thinking if we have those players that can help out, if any of these uh, uh, outside center backs push up, we're looking good. Surprise, surprise. First season's over and we didn't win the league title. 95 points of Barcelona, Madrid ahead of us and Real Sociedad. Let's pretend that's Girona and that could be how the season ends in real life as well with Atletico Madrid in fourth place. But at least we were able to hold on to it. And one thing I actually want to mention as well is... Atletico Madrid is quite a fun team to rebuild for you at home as well because you have so many good players that are on the older side that you might not sell in the first season but might want to sell later on. By the way, complete disgrace that Griezmann has already gone down his stats right here. He's gone down to an 87, which is a shame. He's 33 years old now. Morata, 31 years old. We're looking at Depaul, who's now 30. Koke, 32. Llorente pushing towards the 30 very soon. And uh, others are doing well. Very, very well. Lino has gone up in his stats, which is good. We have Schlotterbeck going up. Kosunu going up. Romero going up. And <laughs> Oblak as well, which is quite impressive. And on top of it, Rikelme. Rikelme has gone up to an 81. Fermirin up to a 78. He's soon ready to take over. And the same goes for Barrios. And these guys could be going up to a 79 in the next couple of weeks as well. So that is one thing to keep in mind before we even go into the next season. And we are looking at a team that has come in with Griezmann with 40 goal contributions. Put some respect on this man's name. Morata done well, 19 and 11 with 30 goal contributions. And then obviously Llorente just getting involved in anything and everything, just like the ball as well. But I will have to show you one specific thing. And that is the fact that Manchester City smacked us 7-2 in the Champions League. And that is something we definitely have to work on. And going into the next season, we'll have to say goodbye to a couple of very good players. Lads, it's happened. Joao Felix, there is no future for him at Atletico Madrid. Let's be honest. He's going 58 million to Manchester City. Good luck. Koke has left at the age of 32. Thank you for everything that you've done for the club. Depay is leaving for 43.8 because we do not have a starting spot for him. Saul is going just like Koke. If one goes, the other goes with him. Galan has left. Sunju has left. Uh, uh, Molejo has gone. Marcos Paulo, Valera, all these guys have left. And now we actually got back one player that is very exciting. This man, Samu, or as his actual name is, Samu Omorodion. A 19-year-old player who has been loaned out to Deportivo Alaves, which is in the top division as well. And in this season already, he has scored eight goals and got an assist. So possibly we're talking about a kid that could be the future of that striker position at Atletico Madrid. But at least I will keep him here as a player that we want to have at least on the bench of this squad. Six foot four tall. So pretty much a giant who could play up there with a little man next to him. 
So that could be quite interesting. But as we speak, I am going to be making one or two transfers. And Femirin is going to be taking over this spot, the CDM position, and holding it down for years to come. 22 goals, 9 assists in the past 6 months. I'm talking about, of course, Viktor Gökeres. It is about time that more and more people talk about him. I mean, obviously, there is some hype surrounding him. But I truly believe when he makes that next move, he's going to do just as well. I've seen this guy play. I'm so impressed every single time I see him play. And now he's going to be joining us as a backup striker initially. Hold up. I know he's too good to be that uh, and only a backup striker. But Morata is going to start going down in his stats at some point. Or Griezmann is going to go down very quickly. And then Gürkeres is going to be a starting 11 player for us. Simeone, this guy, is that the actual son of Diego Simeone? I know one of his sons is definitely a football player, or does he have two? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and put him in here over that guy because I do have more faith in this Samu Omorodion and Gürkeres becoming an incredible partnership up top. Having said that, both of them are quite tall. With six foot two on Gürkeres and then six foot four on Samu. We are looking at something special here. And if the Kelme and Barrios take over that posi their positions as well, that's, I'm telling you, man, we're building something very nice here. And it's not just me. Atletico Madrid already have these pieces there for their future. No more transfers, but the end of the season is here. And the team has gotten the league title. Finally, Atletico Madrid have done it. 86 points right here on us. Actually, having said that, I am a bit worried. Hold on. That's 37 games. Oh, no. There's one more game to be played. That's 1-1. One, one. No way. Did we not win the league title? <laughs> I dropped a second. Get out of here, man. Come on. <laughs> that can't be for real. Oh, mate. That is such a mistake. Anyways, we come in in second place. I guess we are not worthy of the title yet. But... We have a couple of players who are going to be leaving. Now, Morata is going to be 32. Griezmann is going to be 34. As much as I like these two, especially Morata doing so well lately, I'm very impressed, but I have to let him go. Griezmann, Morata, the new age has to kick in. De Paul is going to leave. Llorente is going to leave. Actually, I'm going to keep Llorente because he can probably play until he's 38, the way this guy just sprints around the pitch constantly. Um, and yeah, I like how we have improved this team defensively. Things have been seeming to be working out. Lino up to an 85, Molina 86, the Kelma on an 85, Barrios on an 81, Samu 77, Gökeres on an 83, ready to take over that striking position at the age of 26 for Atletico Madrid. So we have brought in the players that are going to, be, going to be replacing some of the ones that we're seeing right here. And Romero has become the captain. He's going to be pretty happy about that, I guess. Stats wise, we are looking at 31 and 9 from Griezmann, 40 goal contributions in his last season for Atletico Madrid before he rides off into the sunset, going and joining Lionel Messi at that Inter Miami, and Morata with 28 and 5 in his last season. And Llorente, as I said, this guy, this guy just keeps going. He's gone up to an 87. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Imagine a world where Mukoko finally, yes, finally leaves Borussia Dortmund and gets regular playtime. That is exactly what's going to happen right here. The hype around this player has come down a lot. Since the early days of him starting to play for Borussia Dortmund, fans have been asking for him to be played a lot more often, but Niklas Füllkrug, who has joined Dortmund from Werder Bremen, hasn't been doing too bad, and he's been holding on to that striker position, and now it's time. Samu, I appreciate you. I think you're going to be a great player for Atletico one day, possibly, but it's time for Mukoko to take over. Left footer. On that left hand side, five foot nine. Gökeres on the right side, six foot two. This could be a perfect partnership for the future. So let's see how that goes. And I do believe that we're ready for the rest of the season because I'm going to give the rest of the team another chance. I'm not going to make any more changes. I might add one or two more players onto the bench. But then again, as you know me, I probably won't. Well, let me tell you, it didn't get better. <laughs> 88 points, second place again. Simeone, I understand what problems you're facing here. It's impossible. Barcelona and Real Madrid consistently taking that spot away from me. Real Madrid this time, though, dropped to sixth, which really surprises me. They must have had some mad injuries or something. 
but Atletico Madrid is slowly getting there. I personally feel like it's due to the lack of 90 plus rated players. Oblak is the only one at the age of 33 and he might start going down in the next season. Who knows? But the rest of the team, especially defensively, were looking exceptional. Now going into the midfield, Femirin and Barrios, both players off the bench who are now starting 11 players are world class, you could say. And many other positions, it's the same. But we're just lacking that extra, just that, that little bit of extra. And you know what? It might actually be the bench players. So I'm definitely going to be bringing in two center midfielders onto the bench for the upcoming season or even CDM to work things out in a better way. But... At the end of the day, I'm still happy with this team. Jokeres, Lino, Mukoko, Samu, all these players doing so well for us. And it obviously showcases that we're going into the right direction. We're just not there yet. It will come. And by the way, Llorente again, 10 and 14. I was telling you, selling that guy makes no sense. So going into the next season, just a few more additions, a little bit more time for these players to develop to develop and i do believe we're going to be able to finally get past teams like manchester city in the champions league because we already did it with liverpool just manchester city cuts off all, cuts us off all the time i've brought in two players who i think are going to be great as backups for our team first of all the man who did exceptional at psv eindhoven and then his career kind of you know fell apart not fell apart but hasn't been as great in the Premier League at Nottingham Forest. Ibrahim Sangare is joining us as a backup to Fermirin. And I also brought in Bentancur. Yes, the uh, Spurs midfielder, who might be a little bit underrated in my opinion, has joined us as well. And with that, now the bench is looking much more solid. Attack, wings, and also the midfield. Let's go ahead and smash it. This time, it's AS Monaco, and they get beat 5-2. And we're actually firing the cup as well. Bayern Munich, Champions League semi-final. It's a win. It's 6-2. Lads, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. Yes, Atletico Madrid beat Real Madrid in the league. And then it's Barcelona in the final. Now, real quick, have we gotten beaten a cup somewhere? Have I missed out on that? We did beat Villarreal. Was that the final? Hold on. Are we on for a treble? Possibly. Champions League final against Barca, which is huge. Copa de España. Oh, yes, we actually won that. Let's go. And in the league, please. Please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Come on. Atletico Madrid with Simeone are going for a treble. His biggest achievement yet. This is what we want. Atletico Madrid has not won the Champions League. Ever? I actually don't know. Hold on, let me check. Well, as you can see right here, there is no Champions League title. So, I wasn't wrong. We are looking at a team that is doing something unprecedented. La Liga has been won. Supercopa has not been won, sadly. But Copa de España is one that we have captured now against Barcelona. This is perfect. I want it to be against a Spanish team. We are looking at a 90-rated Gökeres. Is he going to play a lot? I don't know. Let's see. We'll see that in a second. Jorhent up to a 91. Lino, 90. Schlotterbeck, 91. Romero, 91. Kosunu, 90. Oblak, 92. Yes, this is it. And the bench looks ever so solid. Riquelme is ready to take over whenever he needs to. Samu can be subbed on and have an impact. Bentancourt is a quality midfield option. Sangare could be a great option for CDM or even the centre-back positions if necessary. And now, let's see who has done it all. Who has been the main reason as to why we have done so well? It is Yosofa Mokoko. He has gone up by plus 4, 39 and 3. Gyokeres, 34 and 9. Llorente again at the age of 32. The man just doesn't stop. He comes in with 27 goal contributions from centre midfield. Lino with 11 and 14. Pablo Barrios, 6 and 10. Not too bad. Guys, we have built an incredible team. I believe this would be a solid one for Simeone with a couple of the originals and some additions that we have brought in. I'm very happy with what we have built. And Barcelona will be coming in with, let's see, Brian Brobby, Garnacho, Rafinha, nice front three, Pedri de Jong, Kimmich. There have been rumors of Kimmich joining Barcelona, possibly. But now that Tuchel is going, ah, yes, 
it is actually looking like uh, we'll be looking all right for keeping Kimmich. Alde, Kunde, Upamecano, Lambert, and Testegan. A lot of Bayern Munich in there, but some really good players. It's going to be tough. Off we go into the battle between two Spanish giants. Let's hope our team comes out on top. I am worried about the three at the back formation, I will admit. Only having Fermirin as the cover might be fine in simulations. But in the actual gameplay part, I could be struggling with this. So let's see how long it will, I will keep it that way. But hopefully it all works out for us here. Way too much space. Way too much space given to these lads. Pedri and his boys just circling around our defense. I can't get close for some reason. What the? What the hell? <sighs> Mate, nah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. I'm telling you right now. The three at the back thing is not gonna work. I'm gonna go four, two, three, one wide. I'm gonna have to try something else because I know for a fact I'm not gonna make this work. So Schlotterbeck goes into left back. Mukoko moves into cam. I need two CDMs. I need a stronger defense and Llorente goes into right midfield. Let's turn this around. Oh, nice. Mistakes were made there by our opponent. Mukoko sprinting forward. Here goes Molina inside the box. He needs to cut back. And we score a back heel assist by the world champion. Gekinis makes it 1-1 right before halftime. It couldn't be more crucial than this. Four at the back is the way to go for me, man. I struggle to defend with three. And now with the four, we're looking much better. A lot more structure in our game. Yes, Kosunu comes across, gets it. Mukoko, one, two with Gökeres, or maybe no one, two needed. I'm going to pull this through on the left. Cut in, ask for another Gökeres run. It's exceptional stuff right here. As Mukoko smashes it on a bicycle kick. You are kidding. The Dortmund lad is going to win the biggest trophy of them all. The treble as well with Atletico Madrid if it stays this way. Beautifully played. I can't believe Jokeres found Mukoko, but then to for him to do that, it's unreal. But this man has pace still at his age. He's still running for us. Llorente, can you win that for me? Oh my God, he can. Llorente, can you score that for me? You can't. How can you not? I want control of Gürkeres. And I want this to be whipped in exactly to this spot right here. There it goes. Bicycle kick again. Ah, I need to step up better than that. You know, oh, no. We're giving him too much space to create something out of nothing here. Chesting it down and going straight onto the counter. That's the motto. Here goes Mukoko. He has Gürkeres making a beautiful run as well. Can he get past his man? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. It's the combination of Mukoko and Gökeres again. Little man, big man. Works once more for Atletico Madrid. And this should be the end of it. Mate, making that early decision to go to a four at the back was the right choice. As much as I want to play Simeone style in the final, I just can't. In simulations, three at the back is fine. But when I play it, I struggle. And that's it. Final whistle is blown. Simeone wins the treble. Thank you so much for watching me lift a trophy that is seemingly just floating. Appreciate all of you guys. But hey, sometimes you got to realize your weakness instantly. And that's what we have done in this one. As I lift this trophy, I want to know from you. Which formation is the one that you just don't seem to be able to win with? For me, it has to be three at the back. It is the toughest one for me. Four at the back seems ideal. Three at the back, as much as I want it to work, only like one or two formations. Maybe the three, four, two, one works for me at times because I just outscore my opponents. But mate, this was tough. Have a good one. Take care and peace.